Getty politicians and foreign royalty are not expected to be present at the royal wedding on Saturday unlike the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding in 2011 when dignitaries and royalty from around the world were in attendance. The upcoming nuptials will be a more intimate affair with politicians and royal counterparts nowhere to be seen. James Brooks, director of broadcasting and communications at Royal Central, commented on the guest list, saying, foreign royals aren't attending Harry and Meghan's wedding unless they have a personal relationship with the couple, it's similar to why politicians haven't been invited, it's being classed as a family event and they want to make it as intimate as possible, although the media attention might suggest otherwise, it's likely. The guest list will be filled with London's socialites. Get Head Wedding is expected to be a more intimate affair, with close friends and family in attendance. Foreign royals aren't attending Harry and Meghan's wedding unless they have a personal relationship with the couple. James Brooks, the royal commentator, stated the situation would be similar for Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Banks wedding in the autumn. He said, I think this is likely to be the case for Princess Eugenie too, she and Jack aren't particularly close to any of the European royals, or those from further afield, with this being an even smaller wedding, they'll want to focus on making sure their friends fill the chapel. Politicians will also not be in attendance at the wedding unless there is a prior personal relationship, and Prime Minister Theresa May has reportedly not been invited. A spokesman for Prince Harry commented on the guest list, stating, It has been decided that an official list of political leaders, both UK and international, is not required for Prince Harry and Ms. Markle's wedding, Her Majesty's. Government was consulted on this decision, which was taken by the royal household. There was speculation that Barack and Michelle Obama would receive an invitation due to the prince's close collaboration with the former president on the Invictus Games. However, it was later revealed the Obamas would not be attending the ceremony for fear it would cause a diplomatic rift with current President Donald Trump. The Obama nevertheless congratulated the couple on their engagement back in the autumn. They wrote, Michelle and I are delighted to congratulate Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on their engagement. We wish you a lifetime of joy and happiness together, St. George's Chapel has a capacity of 800 people, and around 600 have been invited to attend the ceremony on Saturday, with over 2,640 members of the public also being invited to view the ceremony from the grounds of Windsor Castle. This is vastly less than the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding at Westminster Abbey in 2011, when around 1,900 guests were invited to attend the ceremony itself.